Candy cigar. So what? Uh, candy cigar. That was nasty. <laughs> Good team win though. Good team win. Good team win. How y'all doing? Happy belated Thanksgiving to everybody, by the way. Just going out there, just having fun, for real, honestly. Like, I feel like sometimes when, like, we, you know, play a game, like, everybody be like, I got to do this, I got to do that for, like, it's a uh, go how they feel or, like, somebody feel like I got to be Superman or I got to make this outstanding play. But not really. You know, everybody just, just got to play their job. And if 11 men on the field doing their job, that's what happened. I mean, we only won by two, but a win is a win. So... We got it done, and we got and we brought back the uh, battle line trophy. So it was a good competitive game. Arkansas uh, played their heart out, and we played our heart out, and it was a good game. No disrespect to them on any type of level. That was a great game. John, what did it mean to be able to celebrate with these older guys? You know, you've had a lot of emotion from Barrett and Isaiah McGuire, all those guys. What did it mean to be able to celebrate this with them? This game was strictly for the seniors, and like those like who's about to start a new life, whether it be um, like maybe training for the draft, maybe going to get a job. You don't know nobody's path after like their senior year. So this game was just like put put what you, put yourself – what's the word I'm looking for? Put your – put – damn. It put – yes. Put your teammates first. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Put your ego aside and like see the bigger picture. Like – Every game, not going to be no breakout game. Every game, not going to be all touchdowns. Some games might be won by two, maybe even one. But just for me to, like, see those guys, one, one uh, take, their, uh, take their rock from the M and win this last game. And it's big for Barrett because, you know, he's from Arkansas. So that was a good win just to see the seniors go out on a good note. And that one right there kind of touched my heart. So I didn't do it for me. I did it for all the seniors, especially B and Toski. So... Yeah. Oh, man, so many close games this year that ended up Missouri's way winning this today here. Do you feel like this could be a kind of a turning point for the program going forward? I actually said that in the huddle in like fourth quarter. I was like, we didn't have so much bad karma. Finally, it's swinging our way. We just got to finish. So, you know, I try not to, uh, no matter how tight a, 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 a game is, I try to always smile and like stay calm. Just uh, as we've seen, uh, Makai Miller made a a great third and what, third and three, third and fourth, a big conversion. Like, I always tell him, like, no matter how big the moment is, like Coach Peeler tells us, have calm for the chaos. So, like, no matter how big the moment gets, just re revert back to your training and just go out there and have fun and smile. That's the biggest thing. So, it felt good. And I feel like, yes, this could be a turning point because we played great all around. And, of course, like, you know, it, it's not going to go perfect. Arkansas had great plays too, which made it a great game. So. Yeah, it was a good game. Dominic, with the Miller catch at, what was going through your mind when you saw him catch that, and what, what did you tell him afterwards? I was actually talking to Barrett, and Barrett was like, Don, we need this. I was like, calm down, we got it. Makai going to do his thing. And Makai did his thing. Caught it, got a first down. You know, he got up all energetic. I was like, that's my boy. And then he came to the sideline. I was like, just smile. Just have fun with it. Like, it's football. So... It felt good seeing him, you know, and Makai has came through multiple times uh, this year being being a freshman, making big plays. That's good. He never pouts, never, why am I not getting the ball? Why am I not doing this? He just, every moment that his number called, he ready, and he execute, and I'm proud of him. Don, you, Makai, Mookie, and, and Luke are all made plays today, and I mean, you guys are, are all guys that can come back. What's, what's today, a glimpse of the future of this passing game? Wait a minute, just tobacco. <coughs> That was that cigar. Um, may you repeat your question? I'm so sorry. Yeah, just with, with you and Mookie and, and Luther and Makai all kind of making plays, was, was today a glimpse of maybe what this, this passing game can be in the future? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I know kind of like my trademark, you know, just drop your nuts and play. So that's exactly, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what we went out there and did. You know, we was like, I was trying to tell them, like, we got nothing to lose, but we did have something to lose just to, like, take your mind off, like, that situation, just to go out there, play fast, and execute. And we show what, like, Missouri offense can be, whether it be air raid, whether it be uh, running the ball, everything. Everybody executed on every point, the line, defense. 
secondary, special teams. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. So when everybody do their job, that's the outcome. No matter how big, how little, a win is a win. Fourth quarter, and it was when, it was when I think we had just got the ball back somehow. I think Makai Miller had actually tipped the ball. Look, Makai Miller again. So Makai had uh, tipped the ball, and I was like, you know, some good karma finally swinging our way. But like Coach Drink said at the beginning, like they not gonna give it to us. It's a trophy on the line for them the same way that it is for us. So we gotta go out and fight, and that was his big message the whole uh, uh, week. Do it for the seniors. Don't do it for yourself. Push all your egos out the uh, window and just do it for your brothers next to you. We all done been through hell. Can I say hell? I just said it twice. <laughs> but um, but um, we all been through hell. So it was only right that we finished out on a good note. And seeing everybody happy, smiling with their family the day after Thanksgiving. You know, nobody going out to eat, right? Everybody got Thanksgiving leftovers. So it was a good day all around. This one, like, it's just no disrespect to Arkansas. It's it just kind of like bragging rights, you know, like we got the trophy. And that's another thing for the seniors, like uh, the seniors left, I was saying, you know, even if, like, they see each other when they playing in the NFL, like they could, you know, crack a joke and it was like, you know, Mizzou was the last to uh, to uh, get the uh, battle line trophy. So it's just all it's just all kinds of joy that come out of it. So that was the big picture. Just that swag, and him running. Like, I was running with a, a couple Arkansas defenders, and he was like, this boy running. And I was like, yeah, because about time. Because, you know, he would just sit back there sometimes. But uh, Coach Hammond stressed, uh, stressed big to him that even when, like, your wide receivers aren't open, who's open? You. So use your legs. And he did that tremendously, and I'm proud of him. So he's progressed a lot with it being, like, his confidence, his swag, Taking shots, we've all progressed. So, like he said, I don't know his name. Like he said, is this a turning point? Yes. So all of it kind of wrapped together with each other. I know I just be rambling sometimes, but. Um, John, you guys came up first series in the second half and took three deep shots. I mean, what does that say about what this game plan was, or what, was that a message at halftime? We're gonna attack him like that. It was just Coach Drink, Coach Peeler, Coach Hammond, everybody. So they keep your foot on their necks that we're not going to come out and play conservatives. We're going to come out and to end it, going to chop your nuts and play. <laughs>